A few days ago, Robert Kocharyan spoke out about accession to the Union state with Russia. This should be alarming for all Armenians and citizens of Armenia. Member of the Council of the National Democratic Alliance, Jirai Sefilian, wrote on his Facebook page. Russia, Turkey and Azerbaijan are seeking to end and legitimize the process of destruction of the Republic of Armenia that began with the Russian-Turkish aggression in 1920-1921. The current Russian-Turkish plan for destruction of Armenia envisages that Armenia will be deprived of independence, its rights as a nation and state, and its future. It also envisages the redistribution of Armenia amongst Russia, Turkey and Azerbaijan as a territory under influence. Accordingly, it is envisaged to destroy and usurp Armenia with the following strategy. First, independence and governance shall be transferred to Russia. Second, rights and the future shall be transferred to Turkey and Azerbaijan. Third, territory and resources shall be disposed of on the basis of mutual agreement. In Armenia, there are two neo-Bolshevik wings that are working to ensure implementation of this monstrous plan. The Kocharyan wing, along with the Serge Sarkisian wing, which is partially positioning itself as a separate wing, is mainly serving for implementation of the first part of the plan, that is to say, transfer of independence and governance to Russia, while the Nikol Pashinyan wing, the roots of which trace back to Levon Ter Petrosyan, is serving for implementation of the second and third parts of the plan, that is to say, transfer of the rights, future, territory and resources. The opposition between different wings and branches of this aggregate neo-Bolshevik party is superficial, is governed from Moscow and now partially from Turkey, and serves for implementation of the mentioned monstrous plan. Since the West is becoming established in our region slowly, yet consistently, implementation of the second and third parts of the Russian-Turkish-Azerbaijani plan will become possible only if the first part is implemented. That is to say, if Armenia renounces de jure independence and transfers governance to Russia. Otherwise, the West will interfere and stop the process by taking advantage of the leverage of de jure independence of Armenia. Thus, all those who will try to speak in favor of the Union state need to be considered enemies and be treated accordingly. Yes, history may repeat itself if we let the external and internal enemies act freely in our country. But this time we will turn the wheel of history with the will and power of our people. The internal enemy will be punished first. This is the first step to take in order to have a state and a future. And we are going to take this first step with our people. Bajan Ortagervek, Azgain Jogovertavarakan Beveri, Yutubian Alikin.